The strange, creepy, and downright bizarre animals that we find in nature is incredible. There have been no limits to the creativity injected into the animals that roam it, and it's quite incredible to think that there are still so many more undiscovered species out there. Today we look at some of the strange and wonderful creatures that we share the planet with. Here are 22 weirdest animals you didn't know exist. Hey guys, it's Eric from American Eye, and I'm today's guest host on Teltanic. But more on that later. Let's get on to that video. Number 22. The Lowland Streaked Henrik Native to Madagascar in Africa, this is the Lowland Streaked Henrik, and this is the only mammal that is known to use stridulation, which is how insects and snakes make their sounds. They rub their specialized spines together to create the sound used as a form of communication. They also click their tongues to communicate. They use their spiky yellow head for camouflage, but also to headbutt anyone who dares to threaten them. Number 21. Glaucus Atlanticus This creature is as exotic as its name. This is a sea slug that likes to spend most of its day floating upside down in the water, enjoying his meals of other sea creatures like Portuguese man wars Eat away, my friend, eat away. Although, just a heads up, these guys can absorb the stings of its prey using the stored toxins for its own protection. So be careful when picking one of these bad guys up. Number 20. Giant Leaf-Tailed Gecko Madagascar seems to have all the unusual animals, and this one is no exception. They love the rainforests of the eastern coast, and sadly, their numbers are dwindling too. They tend to be caught as exotic pets. It's obvious how it got its name, and this Leaf-Tailed Gecko has incredibly strong legs, which it uses to hop from tree to tree. The tail is wide and flat, and the gecko comes in a variety of colors. Number 19. Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey the facial feature of this monkey is how it got its name of the snub-nosed monkey. As with most animals in the animal kingdom, the male is a lot prettier than the female and has a beautiful bright golden color on his head, forehead, and arms, while the females are usually unexciting brownish black. They sport a flat nose with the nostrils facing upwards. These monkeys have a range of vocal sounds, and they say them all without moving their faces, just like a ventriloquist. Number 18. Indian Purple Frog Native to India, this reminds me a little bit of the blobfish, except the land version. They have bloated, swollen bodies and a rather pointy snout. The snout is narrow to prevent the frog from swallowing prey that's too big. They only spend two weeks on land every year, and that's to reproduce, and then they head underground again. They're a highly endangered species, and only 135 have ever been spotted. Number 17. The Garanook Nope, this isn't a joker on Photoshop extending the neck of an antelope. This antelope truly looks like that. This elegant antelope is called a Garanook, and it comes from Africa. The word Garanook means giraffe-necked in Somalian, and only the males have horns on their heads. Their long necks enable them to reach high-growing plants, which is very different to regular antelope who feed on the ground. Number 16. Leaf Sheep for this video, we'll refrain from attempting the ridiculously difficult scientific name and call it the Leaf Sheep, which seems to be highly accepted. This is a rather cute sea slug who has these little beady eyes and tiny feelers making it look like a cartoon drawing of a sheep. They love to feed on algae and are found in Japan, Indonesia, and the Philippines. These tiny sea slugs can perform photosynthesis as well. Number 15. Common Barren Caterpillar you don't need to adjust your screen. The caterpillar is there, I promise. This caterpillar slays the camouflage factor as he blends in perfectly with his environment. You can find them in India and Southeast Asia, feasting on mangoes and cashews. Sounds like a life I would like to enjoy. Wait, what? They do, of course, grow into butterflies, and in case you're wondering, they're not camouflage at all. They're actually found in different tones of brown. Number 14. Silkies. These chickens have hair that will almost make men and women jealous. Silkies are a breed of chicken that have fluffy, soft plumage, which has the texture of silk. The chicken also has other interesting qualities like black skin, blue earlobes, and five toes on each foot. A regular chicken only has four. They come in assorted colors and often take part in poultry shows. Number 13. The Markhor. This impressive beast is a Markhor, a type of wild goat native to Afghanistan and surrounding areas. They are sadly endangered, and there are less than 2,500 adult males left in the wild. Overhunting and deforestation are some of the biggest reasons for their decline. They have long coats of hair for the winter, and their horns can grow to lengths of 5 feet. Number 12. Tree Kangaroos. This animal seems a little bit awkward. Like it's not sure if it wants to be a kangaroo or a lemur, so it decided to be a mix of the both. Tree kangaroos are found in the rainforests of Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, and even in Queensland, Australia. They are too close to extinction. 
There are 14 different species of tree kangaroos, and they weigh around 32 pounds each and are about 30 inches in height. That's excluding their tails. These guys eat leaves and fruit. Number 11. The Raccoon Dog these beautiful creatures have long since found their place in Japanese folklore, where they are believed to have magical qualities and bring good luck. Also known as Tanuki, they're indigenous to East Asia. So are they related to raccoons? The answer is no, and they are closely related to wolves and fox. Raccoon dogs do not bark, and they're very good climbers and enjoy climbing trees. Number 10. Indian Giant Squirrel A more appropriate name would not be possible. These squirrels are rather secretive and shy squirrels, unlike any other inquisitive squirrel you've ever come across. They're from peninsular India and live in isolated areas filled with evergreen and deciduous forests. These squirrels have the most beautiful colors on their coats, and excluding the long tail, these squirrels are roughly 16 inches in length. The tails are a totally different ballgame and can reach lengths of 2 feet. One of these bees can weigh as much as 4.5 pounds. Number 9. The Gharial. This is not a crocodile you're going to see very often. That's because since 1948, their numbers have been chopped by a shocking 98%. They've been used for traditional medicine, and their environment has changed drastically over the years, meaning they just couldn't survive. They're native to India, and inside that long nose, expect to find 110 teeth. Fish don't really stand a chance when these crocs are around. It's believed that there are roughly 235 Gharials left in the world, and efforts are in place to hopefully save these animals from extinction. Number 8. The Naked Mole Rat. There's a lot on offer for this ugly animal, and it's possible that you might find beauty somewhere in there when you hear the facts. Firstly, they are rodents, but interestingly, they live lives similar to insects. They live in colonies under the rule of the queen rat. Worker rats dig the burrows to their homes, while the other rats look after the queen. Most importantly, these rats are resistant to cancer. They also live to the age of 28, which is not common for mammals of this size, and within those 28 years, they hardly age. It's almost like an 80-year-old person having the same biological makeup of a person in their 30s. I think we all have a new appreciation for this intriguing animal. Number 7. Dwarf Flying Squirrels These ultra-cute critters are sadly only found in Japan, and they grow around 8 inches. They fall under the Old World Flying Squirrels category, and they have a membrane that connects their front and back legs, enabling them to soar through the sky. They don't hibernate, but they do spend a few days at a time catching up on some sleep. These nocturnal creatures feed on seeds, leaves, fruits, buds, and bark, and mom can have up to five pups at a time. Number 6. Lampreys. This looks like something that belongs in a sci-fi horror type film and not in the coastal and fresh waters where you live by. They're a jawless fish or eel-like creature that likes to attach themselves to other fish and dine on their blood. These creepy critters have been around for 300 million years and they've changed very little throughout. Once they're stuck on a host, they can stay there for up to a day, feasting, taking a break, feasting, and then taking another break. They do leave their prey alive, giving it some time to recover and to be ready to be preyed upon again by the ruthless lamprey. Number 5. Indian Bullfrog At first sight, you might wonder why this frog was included, but he's a little bit of a shapeshifter and can actually drastically change forms during mating season. During the greater portion of the year, this frog is ordinary looking, but boy do things change when it's time to reproduce. Yeah. Males turn yellow, barring the vocal sacs which change to a shade of blue. Again, the males tend to be prettier when it comes to nature. They inhabit the wetlands of South and Southeast Asia and light the holes and bushes near water. They're nocturnal and enjoy insects, but also don't mind a small bird or mammal occasionally. These frogs have been a staple in the Thai diet since the 1990s. Number 4. The Star-Nosed Mole If you weren't a huge fan of moles to begin with, this star-nosed mole isn't going to help your cause. These intriguing creatures are found in the low wet areas of eastern Canada and in some areas of the states. They have 11 pairs of fleshy appendages sticking out from its snout, which helps the mole feel its way around. Those appendages have 25,000 sensory receptors on them and a random fact courtesy of Science Daily. Number 3 the Bipus biporus, or you can call it the five-toed lizard. It looks a lot like a worm, except that it has two little arms. Those hands are the perfect tool for burrowing underground, unlike other similar animals who've lost appendages due to evolution. This one's arms have stuck around. X-rays have revealed remnants of their feet. This reptile is native to the Baja California Peninsula, and they grow up to 9.5 inches long. Number 2. 
Tailless Whip Scorpion. This animal looks like a cross between a spider and a scorpion, and it sometimes is called a tailless whip spider. These guys are unable to spin silk, and therefore cannot make webs. Despite their very scary appearance, they are honestly harmless to humans. That is, of course, if you just leave it alone and don't provoke it. They're found in Brazil and Mexico, and suffice to say, you're safe from ever finding one in your home. Number 1. The Mata Mata Turtle This interesting looking turtle looks like it's been around for a long time. Their body is rough and knobbly, with the head full of warts, protuberances, ridges, and flaps. It's not quite certain what the flaps are for, but it's been confirmed that they do contain nerves which respond to stimuli. They're also believed to help camouflage the turtle, appearing as floating seaweed as opposed to a turtle. Now if you liked that video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like me, maybe you can check out a video over on American Eye, right over here. Thanks, I'll see you later.